live. <gasps> Look, guys. Okay, I really love live videos because I feel like we're together. Okay, so let me put this on. Okay, so we have three minutes three minutes and then we're going to start our English lesson. So, pelo amor de Deus, fala aqui comigo. All right, Marcel. Well, well, look who's here. Our great teacher. Here she comes. Woohoo! Our great teacher. Ah, Marcel. What a sweet comment. How's it hanging? Ooh, okay. Let me teach you one little thing. Instead of how's hanging, you want to say, how's it hanging? I see. Okay. How's it hanging? How's it hanging? Hey, Diogo, my friend. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Leandro, de novo. Yay. How are you? I like your tie. Very professional. Very professional. <laughs> Let me see your reactions. Boa noite, miss. What's up, guys? Hey, Diego. I like your little dog. Your dog has like a smush face. Smushed. Hey, Jill, how's it going? What's up, Rogerio? Rogerio, nice to see you again. Hello. <laughs> oh, good. Bruno, how you going? Oh, how you going sounds like you are from Australia. I would say, how are you doing? Isso. In the United States, how are you doing is more natural. Good. Isso, assim, Tiago. Wow, look at your picture. Jesus, amen. There we go, Veronica. Stay home. Good vibes. Hi, how are you, Veronica? Oh, Diogo, it was your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Diogo. Happy birthday to you. I'm sorry I missed it. Happy birthday. Hey, Michelle, I'm so glad you're here again, Ginobu. Aww. All right, how do I say your name? Leonidas? Leonidas. Leonidas. Leonidas? Leonidas? I don't know how to say your name, but it's very pretty. Thank you. Oh, Marcos. Marcos from San Jose. Dos Campos. You're the best. No, you're the best. Stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Giovanni. Que mensagem, mais bolé. Uh, boa noite, Miss Jill. You're from the south of Brazil, Santa Catarina. Ah, isso. Oktoberfest. Ooh, party time. <laughs> hey, Marcio, how are you? Marcio, você tem um sorriso muito lindo. <gasps> okay, gente, tempo de aprender chegou. All right. So today's lesson is all about common English phrases that you can use during a quarantine, okay? So common English phrases that you can use during a quarantine. Quando você está em casa, se você... É, eu estou em casa, com certeza. Hello, Paulo. Paulo, what's up? Tudo bom? All of us are very excited. Oh, Marcel, thank you so much. Guys, I have 10 thumbs. I have, well, I have two thumbs, but I have 10 thumbs up. That makes me so happy. Não esquece de dar um thumbs up. I don't know how to say that. All right. Boa tarde, linda. Oh, stop. Verdade da América. Okay, so let's start with our lesson, okay? I'm not going to talk anymore. Okay, I'm going to talk, but I'm going to talk about English, okay? So common English phrases during a quarantine. All right, let's look. So before we start, we're going to do some idioms and expressions. Porque eu acho que é importante. Okay? Maybe you don't use these phrases, but it's important to understand them. Okay? So the first one I use all the time. I'm going nuts. I'm going nuts. Okay? During quarantine. How you doing? I'm going nuts. Nuts. Okay, so who can translate this for me in Portuguese? I'm going nuts. I'm going nuts. Hey, West Dog, how are you, buddy? Joinha, isso. Joinha. I always forget that word. 
All right, so who can translate for me? I'm going nuts. How's your quarantine going? I'm going nuts. Tô ficando louca. Louco, sim. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So ficando malusa. Is that right too? I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I'm going nuts. Isso. All right. So how are you doing home at, with your four kids? How's it going? I'm going nuts. Okay. They are making me crazy. So the next one, well, actually, before we continue, I'm going to give you three other crazy words in English that you can use. So you can say, I'm going nuts. But you can also say, I'm going bonkers. That's a fun word, bonkers. I'm going bonkers. And you can say, I'm going bananas. Todo mundo sabe essa palavra, né? I'm going bananas, okay? You can also say this final word. It's a little crazy. And I think the pronunciation is different than the letters, but we say berserk. Eu sei que fala berserk, mas eu falo berserk. Tipo, é uma A aqui, ó. All right, so if you want to say, I'm going crazy, okay? Uh, estou ficando malusa. You want to say, I'm going nuts. I'm going bonkers. I'm going bananas. I'm going berserk. I'm going crazy também, okay? I like berserk for some reason. <laughs> yeah, berserk is, is fun to say. Berserk. Berserk. Oh, Lino, você é especial. Thank you. <laughs> berserk. Berserk. Crazy, all right? I'm going crazy. All right, the next one I'm going to, I'm going to teach you. They're driving me crazy. They're driving me crazy, okay? So who can translate this phrase? They're driving me crazy. They're driving me crazy. How are your kids? Oh, they're driving me crazy. <laughs> hey, Fabio. I'm good. How are you? Isso, Antonio. That's it. <laughs> Eles estão me deixando louca. Louca para mim, louco. Pra você, yep. Eles estão me deixando louca. All right. How are your kids? How are your four kids? How's your husband and your kids? They're driving me crazy. They're driving. Oh, we can also use they're driving me nuts. They're driving me bonkers. Uh, bonkers, no. Bananas, though. They're driving me bananas. It's true. But crazy is the most common. They're driving me crazy. Mice, I love them. But they're driving me crazy. Isso. Mm -hmm. Eles estão me deixando louca. Louca, né? Ah, pra mim é louca, ok? Eles estão me deixando louco. Isso, Lucas. Parabéns. Ok. Very good. So those are some expressions. I have one more expression for us, ok? You must be going out of your mind. You must be going out of your mind. How can we say that? You must be going out of your mind. I'm not at home, buddy. Oh, yeah, Fabio, sing. I'm not a homebody. Uh huh. I'm not a homebody, so this quarantine is driving me crazy. Or I'm not a homebody, so I'm going insane. That's very good. I'm not a homebody. Very good word. All right, so who can translate this right here? You must be going out of your mind. You must be going out of your mind. You must be going out of your mind. Let's see. Hi, Dumont. Yeah, okay. Você, isso, isso. Yep, yep. Okay, você deve estar fora de si. Yeah, so what you're saying is like, Oh, you're home with your four kids? You must be going out of your mind. Okay? So, <laughs> it's like out of your mind, going crazy. You can't think. You can't breathe. You have no space. You can't go and, you know, shopping, have therapy, right? You must be going out of your mind. <laughs> Você deve estar ficando louca. Louco. Very good. 
Very good. <laughs> Very good. Oh, hi, Stella. I love my friend Stella. Gente, isso não, você não sabe. Ela é minha amiga da coração, de verdade. <laughs> All right, very good. So let's go on. So now I'm going to teach you some questions, some common, useful, simple English questions about this time, about this quarantine, okay? So let's look at this first question. How are you handling this quarantine? Okay, listen again. How are you handling this quarantine? How are you handling this quarantine? So handling, as vezes, a tipo controlling or supporting, okay? In this example, you'd say, let's see if you can translate for you first. Oh, still. Okay, so how can we say this? Can anyone translate this for me? How are you handling this quarantine? Ah. A aula de hoje está ótimo para você se expressar. Isso. I like doing the live videos. I feel like I can, I feel like I'm in my classroom again. And that's nice. I like that. Thank you for your comment. Let me make this bigger. All right. So how are you handling this quarantine? Isso, Michelle. Parabéns. Como você está lidando com a quarentena? Quarentena? That's like a hard word to say. Quarentena. Quarentena. É tipo quarenta, né? Quarentena. Mm. How are you handling this quarantine? É isso também, Paulo. Como está suportando a quarentena? Isso, okay? So how are you handling the quarantine? Are you okay? Do you have food? Are you feeling isolated? How are you handling this? Porque é muito difícil, right? All right, very good. Good, good, good. All right, so next question. Are you still able to work? Are you still able to work? Okay, so people ask me this question all the time. Jill, are you okay? Are you still able to work? So let me see. Good. E Stella, the last one. Yep. Very good. I've been making. Fabio, I've been making good use of this quarantine to work out and dance to the sound of Brazilian samba. I love samba. <laughs> so, are you still able to work? Who can translate that for me? Who can translate? Você ainda está em condições para trabalhar? Meu Deus, seu português é muito bom. Você ainda está em condições de trabalhar? Good. Uh huh. Isso também. Você ainda é capaz de trabalhar? Good. Guys, I feel like I'm handling. Handling. Very good. I feel like I'm uh, learning Portuguese at the same time as teaching you English. This is good. É, é bom para mim, né? Very good. Isso. Você ainda é capaz ou condição de trabalhar? Very good. Are you still able to work? Are you still able to work? Very good. Okay, we have one more question in this topic, okay? Are you working from home? Eu acho que essa pergunta é mais fácil, mas que você acha? Are you working from home? Are you working from home? Or do you drive to work? Are you working from home? Or are you unemployed? Okay, are you working from home? Você está, isso, Wesley, West Dog. Você está trabalhando de casa. Very good. Você está trabalhando de casa. Oh, are you working from home? Em casa ou de casa, gente? Eu não sei. De casa. Você está trabalhando de casa. Oh, Stella. Oh, Stella. Parabéns. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Are you still, are you working from home? Você ainda está sendo capaz de trabalhar. Ah, Veronica, are you still able to work from home? Yep, that's this question right here. Very good. All right, very good, guys. So we learned three questions about 
quarantine, all right? Three questions. Now we're going to learn some statements or some phrases, okay? Some statements or phrases common to this time of quarantine, all right? So this one right here. Eu não sei se você pode traduzir ou não, mas vamos ver. Okay. I wonder how long this will last. I wonder how long this, this time of quarantine, will last. I wonder how long this will last. I wonder how long this will last. So can you guys tell me, translate for me that in Portuguese? I wonder how long this will last. Hmm. I wonder how long this will last. I wonder how long this will last. Let's see. Será que vai... Isso. Será que vai durar quanto tempo? Eu, eu imagino quanto tempo isso vai durar. Oh, I imagine how much time this will uh, last for, right? Very good. De casa. Quem é mineiro fala de casa. Ah, muito obrigada. I didn't understand. I'm like, G O N G O N. Obrigada. Okay, so Fabio answered the answered the question to himself. I'm not sure, but I believe it will last about six or eight months. Fabio, seu inglês é muito bom. I hope it's not six months, mice. So Deus sabe, né? So Deus. All right. So let's see. Eu imagino quanto tempo irá durar. Você me perguntou quanto isto vai durar. Yeah, so you're asking yourself, right? I wonder how long this will last. Hmm, I wonder how long this will last. Okay, good. Let's do the next phrase or sentence or statement, okay? I'm so sick of being home. I'm so sick of being home. All right, this is kind of an expression, porque aqui, sick, não significa sick de doença, okay? Sick here is, means like, oh, eu não posso suportar mais, okay? Wow, Diogo, that's, that's potentially good, right? They're off quarantine. Aqui no Massachusetts, uh, os estudantes não, como se fala? They don't, they won't go back to school. So, eles não, vai, não vão voltar à escola um, este ano, não. All right. So, let's see. I'm so sick of being home. Eu estou de... Let me see. Estou cansado de ficar em casa. Isso, Lucas. Parabéns, Lucas. Você é muito inteligente, viu? Estou cansado de ficar em casa. Isso. I'm tired, right? I'm tired, I'm sick of, é igual, all right? Tipo, I have my limit. Não aguento mais ficar em casa. Isso também. <laughs> yep, good. Cheio de ficar em casa. Yep. I hit my limit. I can't handle it anymore. Okay, very good. Very good. É muito chique, né, Tawani? Um, não, não. É muito linda, né? Sorry, Tawani. Eu, que, eu sei que você é tímida, mas você é muito chique aqui, ó. Assim. Desde assim. Eu sou Tawani. Sorry, Tawani. Ok. Não vão retornar às aulas durante este ano le letivo. Letivo? I don't know that word. Mas provavelmente essa palavra, meu Deus, vai me matar. Provavelmente no próximo ano letivo as aulas voltarão. Guys, você acha que inglês é difícil? Ó, oh, olha aqui, ó. Oh. É, português é muito mais difícil. Ok, mas Tawani, muito obrigada. Tawani aqui. Tawani está aqui para te ajudar. Então, se você tem uma pergunta e eu não posso responder, Tawani vai te ajudar. 
porque ela também é professora de inglês. Sabe por quê? Porque ela era minha estudante muitos anos atrás e agora ela fala como nativo. Mó! Verdade. Ok, sorry. I'm distracted. <laughs> Alright, so we have one more, one more sentence, ok? My kids are driving me crazy. So this was connected to our idioms, ok? <laughs> Sorry, tá on. <laughs> Para! De verdade, ela não gosta de atenção, não. Só um pouquinho. Só um pouquinho, né? <laughs> Portuguese is terrible. Às vezes eu acho, ah, eu sei. And then I don't. <laughs> Parabéns, Tawani. Yeah, Tawani is the best. Isso, Wesley. Very good. Okay, my kids are driving me crazy. Quando eu fico brava com eles, eu sempre falo assim, com dentes, tipo, fechados. Dentes fechados. I don't know how to say that. Meus filhos estão me deixando louco, Wesley. Good job. <laughs> yep. Verdade. Isso. Antonio. Antonio, you like, you get me. You understand. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Minhas crianças também. Minhas crianças estão me deixando louco. Ou oh, louca, sim. Very good. <laughs> you too? Oh, Veronica. Tamo junto, tá? <laughs> uh, good. I'm glad. Your Portuguese is an encouragement for us to improve our English. Good. Good. That's the purpose. Isso. Dentes cerrados. Dente cerrados. <laughs> okay, so now let's let's review. Okay, let's review. So today's topic is common English phrases during a quarantine. Okay, frases comuns em inglês durante a quarentena. Mm -hmm. And we did idioms and expressions. I'm going nuts. They're driving me crazy. You must be going out of your mind. Okay. Then we learned. Part one questions, we learned three questions. How are you handling this quarantine? How are you handling this quarantine? Are you okay? Are you okay? Um, are you still able to work? Are you still able to work? And are you working from home? Are you going to work or are you working from home? Okay, very, very good questions for right now. Then we have three sense statements, phrases. I wonder how long this will last. Months, weeks, I wonder how long this will last. I'm so sick of being home. I got to get out of here. And my favorite, personally for me, my kids are driving me crazy. They're driving me crazy. All right, so now we're going to do more questions, okay? Oh, 25 joinhas. Joinha, 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 joinha. It's a fun word to say. Fabio says, I wish I could work from home. Agora, 29 joinhas, meu Deus. Fabio, you can't work from home? I'm sorry. Manda beijo pra ele. Yanni Nicole, Yanni Nicole, beijos pra você, beijos pra você. <laughs> Isso mesmo, dentes fech fechados ou cerrados. Very good, thank you. I wish I could work from home. Such good English. All right, so let's learn three more questions, okay? Now, agora, quando você está falando com seus amigos online ou do celular, você pode usar essas perguntas aqui. What are you up to? What are you up to? What are you up to? Oh, someone give me a thumbs down and we'll show that. What are you up to? So who can translate this? Porque up normalmente significa para cima, okay? Up, up, up. What are you up to? But up to here não significa up. Significa outra coisa. Isso, Wesley. Parabéns. <laughs> yes, you're correct for now. Thumbs up, likes. I wish I could work from home. So Wesley said, the translation for what are you up to is O que você está fazendo? O que você está fazendo? Isso. So, a diferença, let me see if I can do both of these. 
The difference here, <laughs> my head is hot, okay. So, Michelle, o que você vai fazer no, it is in the future, né? No futuro. But this question here, what are you up to, normalmente significa o que você está fazendo. Hey, what are you up to? What are you doing? So, what are you up to and what are you doing are the same, okay? Mas se você coloca, depois de tu, se você coloca tipo tonight or later, depois, agora significa no futuro. Tipo, what are you up to tonight? Depende, pode, ficar, pode significar agora ou do futuro. Então, if I say, what are you up to? Só significa o que você está fazendo, ok? Ah, oh, Fabio, that's nice. nice. Nice relaxing music. I'm not playing music now porque I want to monetize my videos. <laughs> And plus, I can just play some music, né? I can play some, some music on the piano. All right, so that first question, What are you up to? What are you up to? Você está alerta. I'm hyperactive. I am formal. Thanks, Jill. You're welcome, Michelle. Okay, so next question. What are your plans for tonight? What are your plans for tonight? What are your plans for tonight? So how can you translate this into Portuguese? What are your plans for tonight? What are your plans for tonight? Wary. Oh. Alerta is wary. Wary means sad. That's like a false cognate. It's confusing. What are your plans for tonight? Hi, David. Quais são isso? Quais são seus planos para hoje à noite? Very good. Quais são os seus planos para hoje à noite? What are your plans for tonight? What are your plans for tonight? Very good. All right, I have one more. There you go, Rodrigo. Qual são seus planos para hoje à noite? Very good. Hey, Rodrigo, good to see you again. Wary, Diogo, wary means like sad. Tipo, don't be weary. Like, don't, sad. Isso, Bruno, parabéns. I'm planning on watching. Very good. Okay, so what are your plans for tonight? Oh, I'm studying English with Miss Jill. Cloud kissing. Hold on, let me let me cough. Disculpa. I'm sorry if that was loud. No é corona. Nome Jesus. I'm me. All right, so we have one more question. How about this one, okay? Wanna FaceTime? Wanna Zoom? Wanna video chat? So, de verdade, wanna means do you want to? Okay. <laughs> yes, Diogo. And it will not be the last, I promised. So, wanna means do you want to? Okay. Wanna FaceTime? Wanna Zoom? Wanna video chat? So, how can we say that in Portuguese? Isso. Isso. Good plans, Marcos. Good plans. Those are the best plans. <laughs> God bless you too. <laughs> Good. Isso, Wesley. Very good. Que fazer uma ligação, ligação de vídeo, okay? Do you want to do a FaceTime? So, do you use Zoom in Brazil? I'm going to ask you a question here. Do you use Zoom in Brazil? Do you use Zoom in Brazil? Do you guys use this program Zoom? Porque Zoom aqui é muito popular, gente. Eu estou usando Zoom cada dia. Every single day. Quer fazer uma ligação de vídeo? Yes, very good. Do you want to do a video chat? Right? Do you want to chat? No, we do. So some people say yes, some people say no. Zoom is a, a tipo Skype, but for businesses, okay? Yeah. Okay, so Bruno uses it. Yep. Yep. Yes, we do. What's it for? It's for video chat, and you can have multiple people. We had 100 people from our church on a Zoom chat. It was really cool. All right. So the questions were, what are you up to? What are your plans for tonight? 
and want to FaceTime, want to Zoom, want to video chat, ok? Normalmente Zoom significa tipo, you know, Zoom on a camera, ok? Or o som de carros, Zoom, ok? <laughs> but agora Zoom é, is like a, a program, mas a gente usa como verbo agora, às vezes, ok? Right? I used it once, very good English. Yes, you use WhatsApp. Can you video chat multiple people in WhatsApp or only one person? Listen to my question again. In WhatsApp, can you video chat multiple people or only one person? Eu não sei. Yeah, Wesley, I'm not really into video chatting, so I don't use it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, thank you, Tawani. You can do four people max. Very cool. All right, guys, so we're going to do more statements, okay? I'm giving you a lot of statements that you can use right now, all right? This one, I can't wait to get back together again. I can't wait to get back together again. So this one is, mal posso esperar para estar todos juntos de novo. Now this phrase right here, mal posso esperar, I never heard of that in my life. That's a new expression for me. Mal posso esperar. In English, I can't wait. I can't wait to see the new movie. I can't wait to go on a date. I can't wait for dinner. I'm so hungry, okay? I can't wait. And then the last part, to get back together again. I can't wait to get back together again, okay? So it's a good phrase for right now. When we're separated, we're calling, we're FaceTiming, and we're video chatting. I can't wait to get back together again. Yes, for sure. You guys are definitely WhatsApp people. I never heard of WhatsApp until my Brazilian friends told me. So, a gente não usa muito aqui nos Estados Unidos. Isso. Eu mal posso esperar para estarmos juntos novamente. Very good. You can tell I don't video chat often. <laughs> Very good, guys. Okay, so the next expression is, I can't wait to see you face to face. So if you're video chatting and you're talking, you're like, oh, I can't wait to see you face to face. I can't wait to see you face to face. Very good, Stella. Yep, this friend sentence right here. I can't wait to get back together again. Very good. Não posso... Isso. Não posso esperar volta junto novamente. Good. Não posso esperar para te ver pessoalmente. I love that word, pessoalmente. Pessoalmente. In English, we say personally, uh, but in this case, we would say face to face. Very good. Uh-huh, very good. Não posso esperar para voltar a ficar juntos de novo. Oh, I see you're using that one right there. Very good. Não posso esper esperar. Ooh, gold star for Antonio Carlos. <laughs> very good. Nis aprende mais do que ensina. Verdade. Eduardo. Eduardo is like this. I'm <laughs> I'm learning more than I'm teaching. Eh, verdade. That's okay. <laughs> Very good. So what about this phrase right here? I can't wait to see you face to face. Isso. Não posso esperar, esperar para ver você face a face. Isso. Não vejo a hora de estarmos juntos novamente. You guys are so good. Okay, I can't wait to get back together again. I can't wait to get back together again. And this one here, I can't wait to see you face to face. Next, I'm going to teach you this one. I can't wait. I can't wait to give you a hug. E pelo amor de Deus, gente, não fala rug, porque rug é carpet, okay? I can't wait to give you a hug. I can't wait to give you a hug. 
pode ser também cara a cara. Ah, face a face ou cara a cara. I know a song in Portuguese. Face a face, senhor. Mas eu não lembro o melody. Face a face, senhor. Não, sei lá. I don't know. <laughs> Mal posso esperar para abraçar. Isso. Hi, Macon. Rodrigo, very good. Mal posso esperar para te abraçar novamente. Parabéns. Hey, Macon. What is your picture? Are you like in protective gear? I can't see. It's so small. <laughs> Isso, Antonio. Mal posso esperar para te dar um abraço. I can't wait to give you a hug. I can't wait to give you a hug. Eu estou pensando agora do, do meu pai. Porque eu falo com ele no, no, no celular, né? Mas eu não posso abraçar nem... I don't know. I can't see him right now, so... Eu não vou falar mais sobre ele. Eu, eu vou chorar, não quero chorar no meu canal de YouTube. All right. Very good. <laughs> ah, ok. Face a face. Ou mais informal, cara a cara. See, guys? I'm learning more than you. Ok, very good. So let me say... Each phrase one more time, okay? I can't wait to get back together again. I can't wait to see you face to face. Cara, cara. Face a face. I can't wait to give you a hug. I can't wait to give you a hug. All right, very good. Don't cry. I won't cry. No, shorty, no, vou cantar pra você. Don't cry. <laughs> Good. This is good. Don't cry. Don't cry for me, Argentina. All right. Now we have three more questions. And that's it. Three questions, three phrases, algumas dicas. Nós vamos conversar. E só isso, gente. Okay. So the next one, questions. So this is, these questions, excuse me, these questions will um, help you have... Uh, Help you help other people, okay? So these questions will help you ask questions to help other people. Meu Deus, Blah. that's okay. All right, the first one. Can I do anything for you? <laughs> yes. Can I do anything for you? Can I do anything for you? Hmm. É difícil, né, Ver Veronica? É muito difícil. Celular não é igual, right? Talking on the phone is not the same. It's good, important, but it's not the same as being physically with people. Isso, Rodrigo, parabéns. Very good. Posso fazer alguma coisa para você? Wesley said, oh, let me move Wesley's up here. Wesley também, yep. Posso te ajudar? Very good. Posso fazer alguma coisa para você? Good. Por now, qual é a diferença entre por você e para você, gente? Someone explain to me because I don't know. O que eu posso fazer por você? Isso, Bruno. Very good. Very good. All right. Can I do anything for you? So if you're talking to your friends, your family, your neighbors, hey, can I do anything for you? Can I do anything for you? Can I help you? Yep. Here's another question that you can ask. É muito similar. Do you need anything? Do you need anything? Do you need anything? So this is a little different, okay? Can I do anything? No, don't worry about it. You're fine. Do you need anything? As perguntas que começam com do, você tem que responder com si ou não, okay? For example, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Do you speak Portuguese? Yes, I speak a little Portuguese. I see. Okay. Então, can é possibilidade. Can I do anything for you? No, you can't. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Hey, can I do anything for you? Uh, yeah, you know what? I need some milk. Okay. But do is a little different. Do, you need to say yes or no. Okay. That's good. Por você, for you, pra você. Ah, thank you, Michelle. Por você is for you. Pra você is to you. 
good. Ok? Posso fazer... Posso fazer alguma coisa para você? Ok, so that would be for this, for this question right here. Can I do anything for you? Yep. Ah, ok. Você está precisando... Yes, very good. Você está precisando de alguma coisa? Do you... Are you... So, this would translate our, as Are you needing anything? But in English, we would say Do you need anything? Eu sei que do, tipo, não existe em português, né? <laughs> Antonio, I can't help you with that. I'm sorry. Antonio says, I really need my routine back. Eu também preciso. Mas tem outras oportunidades agora, né? Eu tenho a oportunidade de ficar com meus filhos em casa. <laughs> Às vezes, they make me crazy. But it is a good opportunity for me to be a good mom, né? And it's giving me opportunity to be creative online. But I really need my routine back as well. Yes. So do you need anything? Oh, Marcella. Hey, Marcella. How are you? Good to see you again. It's been so long since I last saw you on here on YouTube. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you too. Yes, I'm starting um, live videos every Wednesday. Every Wednesday at this time, okay? <laughs> Você está de alguma coisa? Isso, okay? So if you ask someone, do you need anything? Do you need anything? They could say, yes, I need some eggs. Or yes, can you get me a mask? Yes, you know what? Can you drive me somewhere? Whatever. But do you need anything? Usually people say, no, 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 I'm fine. No, 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 I'm fine. Do you need anything? No, thank you. I'm fine. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I've seen it's a good answer, okay? No, thanks. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. I don't need anything. I don't need anything. Okay? Ah, okay. Basically, pra você seria for you in English é pra você seria to you. That's confusing. <laughs> thank you, Gilberto. Thank you so much. Isso, Marcos. Você precisa de algo. Very good. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, the next question, this is the final question. Want me to get anything, wa want me to get you anything while I'm out? Okay, one more time. Want me to get you anything while I'm out? Want me to get you anything while I'm out? So what does this sentence mean? Want me to get you anything while I'm out? Want me to get you anything while I'm out? Ah, isso, Antonio. Very good. All right, let's see. Você precisa de algo. Very good, Wesley. Want me to get you anything while I'm out? So this would be... Okay, yep. Você quer que eu trago alguma coisa? Very good, yep. Very good. So, my uh, student Taiwan, he said, Quer que eu compre alguma coisa enquanto eu estou na rua? Okay? So, while I'm out, that means I'm shopping. Do you need anything? Okay? I'm going to Walmart. Do you need anything? When I'm at Walmart, do you need anything? Maybe toilet paper? Maybe paper towels? Very good. Oh, very good. Okay. Quer que eu compre uh -huh. algo para você enquanto estou fora de casa. Isso. Very good. So, I'm already out. I'm shopping. Do you need anything? Want me to get you anything while I'm out? Very good. Very good. Let's see. Speaking do, I have a question. Can I use sentences like, I don't have anything you like or I haven't anything you like? When can I use those correctly? I haven't, we don't use. We only use when, uh, when someone's like, have you seen this movie? No, I haven't. But we don't say it in the beginning of a phrase. So you would say, I don't have anything. Yeah, I don't have anything that you like. Yeah, I don't have. Not I haven't. Very good, Lucas. Quer que eu trago alguma coisa enquanto eu estiver? Eu estiver fora? Okay, do you want me to get anything? 
for you while I'm out? Very good. All right, guys, so we have some final bonus sentences, and then I'm going to give you some Jika's Jean Glaze, and then we're going to say goodbye. And I don't want you to cry. It'll be fine. Traga é muito estranho em português, eu acho. Traga. Oh, to like carry or to take? Okay, isso. Quer que eu trago alguma coisa da rua? Oh, okay. Do you want me to get you something from while I'm out? Good. Here in Rio Grande do Sul, we say something like, Estou indo a mercado. Preciso de alguma coisa. That's right. We could say that too and we could say, Hey, I'm going shopping. Do you need anything? Or, hey, I'm shopping. Or, I'm at Walmart. Do you need anything? That's very good. Yeah. Okay. So, our final sentences. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Let me know if you need anything. All right. So, this is like saying, me deixe saber se você precisa de qualquer coisa. All right. Let me know if you need anything. Let me know if you need anything. Just call me, whatever. All right, me deixe saber se você precisa de qualquer coisa. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Another sentence that's very good, take care of yourself, all right? Se cuide, se cuide, se cuide, cuide? I don't know if I said that right, cuide, é tipo cuidar, cuide, se cuide. It doesn't sound like, like it's right, but I think it is. <laughs> se cuida, isso? Cuida. <laughs> Cuida-se. Cuide-se. God, English is easier. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Take care of yourself. Good. <laughs> yes, Fabio. Yep. Let me know if you need anything. Me avisa se vai precisar. Ah, okay. Vai precisar. That is like in the future, right? Let me know if you are going to need anything, right? Very good. All right. Se cuida ou se cuide. G? Blah. Too hard. All right. And my final expression of the night, okay, is stay home. <laughs> All right. Fique em casa. Si, quando é possível. Meu, meu marido tem que trabalhar. Então, ele vai, e às vezes I go shopping, right, for food and everything, but stay home. That's the, the um, phrase that everyone's using right now. All right, guys, so I'm going to review everything from the lesson. I'm going to give you a couple tips, some YouTubers that you need to go watch, and then if you have any other questions, you can ask me any questions you want, okay? All right, so let's start at the beginning. Our topic common English phrases during a, quarant a quarantine. Frases comuns em inglês durante a quarentena. Idioms and expressions. One, I'm going nuts. Or, I'm going bonkers. I'm going bananas. I'm going berserk. Okay? It all means, tô ficando louca. <laughs> okay? Um, they're driving me crazy. My kids are driving me crazy. Um, you must be going out of your mind. You must be going out of your mind to be home all the time. Or maybe you're alone. You must be going out of your mind to be isolated, right? So questions part one, how are you handling this quarantine? How are you handling this quarantine? Are you okay? Are you still able to work? Are you still able to work? Finally, are you working from home? Are you working from home? Like me? <laughs> now we have three statements that you can use. I wonder how long this will last. Hmm. I wonder how long this will last. This next one, I'm so sick of being home. I want to go outside. I need to return back to my normal routine. I'm so sick of being home. Finally, my kids are driving me crazy. My, gente, for real though, I love my kids, okay? I love my kids. They're just making me a little crazy. All right, we have some other, oh, let me 
the lead to one response. We had another group of questions. What are you up to? And what are you up to? É muito importante. É agora. O que você está fazendo agora? Okay? What are you up to? O que você está fazendo? What are you up to? Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. What are you up to? I'm just making a video. What are you up to? I'm just chilling at home, doing my laundry. All right. Next question. What are your plans for tonight? What are your plans for tonight? What are your plans for tonight? And finally, hey, you want to FaceTime? You want to Zoom? You want a video chat? So you don't have to say you. You say, want to FaceTime? Want to FaceTime? Que significa? Do you want to? Video chat. All right? Nada vendo on this chill. Hmm? It's not working? I hope so. All right, and then we have some other statements. We have, I can't wait to get back together again. I can't wait to get back together again. I can't wait to see you face to face. I can't wait to see you face to face. I can't wait to give you a hug. Um abraço. I can't wait to give you a hug. Is this working? Is everything still live? Oh, I don't know if the video stopped. It says it's working. Ah, okay, just watching Jill making the live transmission. Transmission, very good. All right, so let me continue, okay? Can I do anything for you? Do you need anything? Want me to get you anything while I'm out? Okay, de novo, os, tre as, os tres aqui. Can I do anything for you? Do you need anything? Want me to get you anything while I'm out? All right. And then finally, three phrases. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Me deixe saber se você precisa de qualquer coisa, okay? Thank you, Tawani. Someone, I thought someone said it wasn't working. Good, thank you guys. There's a delay, thing delay tipo, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds for me, so it's a little weird. All right, so um, let me know if you need anything. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, please. Stay home, take care of yourself. Let me know if you need anything. Finalmente, stay home, okay? Stay home. If Whenever possible, stay home. Okay, guys, so before we ask some questions, I want to give you a list of YouTubers that you need to follow, okay? Porque realmente eu não estou explicando cada coisa gramática, mas eles, they do a very good job. So the first, my buddy, Gavin, okay? So Gavin from Small Advantages, following him is a big advantage, okay? He's a wonderful YouTuber, he's got a loving heart, wonderful, his Portuguese, ridiculous okay he sounds like I know I'm not Brazilian but he sounds nativo he's so good okay so definitely make sure you follow Gavin from small advantages he has like two million subscribers because Elliot Toppy all right next follow ask Jackie she's the sweetest her grammar and explanation is so good I feel like I learned Portuguese and uh, te like teaching methods when I watch her uh, when I watch her videos. So she's very good, very 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 good. Oh, you're welcome, Michelle. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad to be one of your favorites. That's awesome. Veronica, isso. Oh, you're so welcome for the tips. This is fun for me. Okay, so make sure you follow Gavin. Make sure you follow Ask Jackie. Also, Karina. She's unbelievable. I love her jeito. She's so, she's so sweet and happy. And I know she's a uh, Brazilian. She's Brazilian, but her English is just so perfect. So all of my suggestions are native English speakers, besides Karina. But it's because I trust her, um, her teaching ability and her style, and her English is amazing. Okay. The next one is this guy, Seth. He's from Amigo Gringo. I love him. He's just, 
he's so cool. I think he lives in New York. Um, he he explains really well. He does like vlogizinhos. I think he's great. And if you want to laugh and learn, Tim Explica is really funny. He's very entertaining. É um pouco doido, mas eu gosto muito dele, ok? And one day eu quero falar português igual que ele. Igual que todos, né? And finally, se você está em casa e você é muito triste, você sabe, alguém que vai te... How do I say? I will definitely make you smile. Minha professora gringa. Oh my God, Rebecca, né? She's so funny. All of her videos, like... She did a video where she was making a cake or something and just cooking in her kitchen, and I just die. She's so funny. And she was on that Brazilian talk show, and she was just amazing. So these are my favorite. These are my top list, okay? They're all top of demais, gente. They're so good. One day, we're gonna, they're going to be, like, on here with me, like, zooming, like, video chats. You know what I'm saying? Ask Jackie likes when I sing. Jackie, I'll play you a song someday. So anyways, make sure you follow them. Porque, de verdade, eles are better than me. Not, I mean, maybe not. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. I can't tell. But for sure, they explain the English, uh, the English language so well. They have a, a strong focus on connections entre português e inglês. E, They're very good and very, um, oh, good, Fabio. Very good. Oh, I didn't know Tim is in Sao Paulo. Very good. Very good. I'm really familiar. That's awesome. Good, Fabio. So you're already at an advantage. All right, gente. Well, that's it. É só isso, gente. Pelo amor de Deus. Eu acho que se você está aqui, you're probably subscribed, né? But if not, you know, don't forget to subscribe. Do you guys have any questions? Tem, eu tenho tipo três minutos, três minutos mais. What are your questions before we go? I'm ready. Oh, my neck really cracked. Did you hear that? It went cuc cuc cuc. Ó, Thiago. Hmm. <laughs> Antonio, oh, that would be great. I'd love to get one million. Can you imagine? Then if I had If I could make money lá no YouTube, and I could do much more videos. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Bruno. Veronica, God bless you too. Thank you. Rebecca, she's so funny. I love her. How do you pronounce the word torture? Torture. Torture. It's like this. Tor, tur, a scene. Tor, tur, torture. Don't torture me. Boa noite. Cheguei tarde. Ah, God bless you too, Dan Nielsen. What are your kids' names? Oh, good question, Antonio. Maddie, Lizzie, Bobby, Kenny. Maddie, Lizzie, Bobby, Kenny. My kids' names are. Maddie, Lizzie, Bobby, Kenny. <laughs> Maddie, Lizzie, Bobby, Kenny. <laughs> um, qual a tradução para o português de power plant? Um, power plants. I don't know. Let me let me look on on something. Let me see. Power plant. Usina elétrica. Usina elétrica. I don't know if that's right or not. Tawani Santos. Oh, Tawani. <laughs> Jay Rodriguez. Hey, buddy. So he's bonito. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. Juliano. Um beijo pra você. Beijão. <laughs> ah, como fico as gravações em AL? Oh, how were the videos in L.A.? They are now on Rosetta Stone. Qual é sua cantante? Ooh, who is my favorite singer? Qual é sua cantora americana 
favorita. Hum, ok, eu sei que ela é um pouco doida, mas Lady Gaga has an amazing voice. Her voice. There ain't no reason you and me should be alone tonight, yeah, baby. I love her voice. Mas ela precisa de Deus, né? Como eu, né? Hum, Tawani. Don't you like our little community, Tawani? Everybody's so sweet. <laughs> ah, beijos pra você também, Tawani. Oh, meu Deus. Todo mundo tá amigos. Thanks for the class. You're amazing. You're so welcome. Fábio, muito obrigada. Franciele Anjos. Tudo bem, menina? Yeah, I love Gaga, but I'm not a huge fan. I'm the same way. Ooh, pink. I love pink. Yeah, actually, I changed my answer. I changed my answer. Love you, Lady Gaga. Pink. Pink's the best. And pink let me sing at her concert. I got to sing for pink. Ooh, Lauren Daigle. Yeah. You say I am loved. Something like that, right? Yeah, she's good. Beautiful. Podíamos fazer um grupo de... Oh, WhatsApp? Or WPP? Does that mean WhatsApp? I don't know. Ah, oh, my beautiful teacher. Franciele. Love you too, honey. Oh, she's so cute. All right, guys. So, é só isso, gente. É só isso. Só isso. All right. So, now I need to go continue the quarantine with my family. But Deus é bom. E de verdade eu sei que este tempo é difícil, é estranho e, e ninguém tem a resposta, uh, respostas, has, nobody has the answers, mas eu acho que Deus está com nós, né? God's with us, eu sei, ok? And, um, e Ele tem, tem planos e é importante para ficar com este fé durante, durante uh, this difficult time, <laughs> ok? So keep smiling, keep studying, fica de boa, e que Deus te abençoe, tá? Ok? Eu e a paz do Senhor, that's my favorite, this is my favorite phrase, a paz do Senhor. My favorite phrase in Portuguese, por isso tá no meu logo, a paz do Senhor, ok? Deus está, isso, good night, you're welcome. Sim. E ele não pede o controle. Isso. Thank you. God bless you guys too. Marcela, God bless you, Julia. You're the sweetest, Marcela. Eu sou chata, mas você não é. Você é sweet demais. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. I love you. A paz, senhor. <laughs>